Hi everyone, big news for Velia. You know, our first samples from the factory, they passed all the major tests. And as of today, we have a formal fit in production and EVT starts. Indeed, this is the first time we receive samples that are fully assembled by our manufacturing partner. This means that all the elements, whether mechanical from the outside or electronics in the inside or mechanic, optomechanical, the optical windows and the, the way the sensors interact through them, all of this is exactly the same way that will be uh, produced in mass production. So this is really a big event. And before stepping into EVT, we have to validate three points. And the good news is that we, we could go through all of these three, three, three points and now we can kick off uh, EVT. So the first point is the antenna testing. Indeed, as you know, Velia Smart Ring is the sleekest Smart Ring on the market. It is almost two times thinner than competitors' rings, which means we have really very limited room for our antenna system. Most of electronic products exploit what we call chip antennas. These are devices that you just place on your PCB, you adapt your PCB to those devices and you use them as antennas for uh, radio telecommunication, BAD for instance, Bluetooth low energy emission. In our case, these type of uh, chips or antenna chips do not match our design. They are too big, it's too cumbersome. We cannot fit them into our tiny PCB. So it was a major challenge. This obliged us to think about another way to uh, uh, emit uh, and perform this uh, wireless connection between the app or the smartphone and uh, the ring. We have even a pending patent on this matter. So, uh, without getting you too much into the details, we had to test this since it's a novel idea. Uh, we had to validate that it works. Uh, with uh, partners that are specialized in radio communication, that are specialized in uh, defining whether the kind of power, opto uh, electromagnetic power is fine and enough for communicating reliably the information and at the same time not too much in order to cope with the, 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 the requirements of all the, the, the international standards. And here, I am very happy to announce you that we have a check there. This is validated and we can go to the next step. The next step is the wireless charging. Same issue. We have one of the tiniest PCBs that you can find in a wearable device everywhere in the world. So look at this. This is a very tiny thing. This is what we have inside our Velia Smart Ring. And this section here that you see here, it's the inductor that is behind the wireless charging. So we need to emit in a wireless way a magnetic field that will allow this piece of electronics to charge the battery that is uh, connected to the, to, to, to the uh, PCB. Uh, and this also was a major challenge. Why? Because the bigger are those kind of devices, uh, the more it's easy for them to collect energy and then charge the battery. So it's easier for a standard ring manufacturer to do this and it's more complicated for us to do it because we have almost half the surface. But with half the surface, we have to ensure the same ability of charging. So this is also another point on which we had to do a lot of tests. Uh, at the beginning, we were not happy 100% with the solution. We are at 80% happy. We found uh, uh, the, 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 the elements that can enable us to get to the full performance. We corrected that. We did a, a design change and now we are ready to uh, go ahead and, 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 and step towards EVT when it comes to wireless charging as well. Okay, another element that we managed to assure in this, uh, with these first samples from the factory is the assembly scheme. You know, so far we've been producing several prototypes, several samples. Some of, of those, I mean, you have seen pictures. But these are samples that have been produced almost with hands, you know? like in the, in the lab and assembling like PCB, like printed circuit boards or components that are not necessarily the same, exactly the same, it will be going into the production. 
So this is the first time that these samples are assembled by the factory, by the EMS company with, with which we're working. And so you can imagine that, you know, moving from things that are actually hands-based to things that are more, let's say, professional and machine, you know, is a step which is not straightforward. It requires a lot of iteration, it requires a lot of optimization, and they're very happy that today the assembly scheme has been secured as one through five EMS managed to produce those samples that actually performed well. And now that we have the first step in production, we also do not forget the fact that there are, you know, some, there are some stuff that we keep on, you know, rate rating. Like, for instance, when it comes to the device itself, there are two items that are important to keep in mind, and we're actually performing, you know, ongoing tests. The first one is, you know, the appearance of the device itself. I mean, like, because, you know, we want our device to be to be to be a true jewel, you know, so it has to be nice looking, you know, but at the same time, the nice looking, the appearance has to be paired with the, with the, you know, with the, with the scratch resistance, with the durability of the device. And unfortunately, sometimes the two things that don't go in the same direction, like you may have, for instance, a very stunning, you know, gold finishing, but the fact of having this very high quality comes with very low durability. So sometimes you need to find a trade-off if you want to actually have more durability, so which means more scratch resistance, you need to pay the penalty of having, for instance, a gold, which is a little bit more, let's say, less standard. So this is something we're keeping in mind and ongoing testing are still happening because we want to really be sure that we fine tune the recipe to the smallest details to produce, you know, the best device ever made. Thank you very much for your support. We remain 100% transparent with you when it comes to the choices that we make, why we make them, and also on uh, uh, the progress uh, on the commercialization of uh, our uh, smart rings. Thank you very much again.